What's up, Blender Artist? It's me, Jack. Welcome to my Hard Surface Beginners tutorial. This is part two. If you don't watch my previous tutorial, I highly recommend you to watch that first. For those who are familiar with Blender, let's get start modeling. I'm going to start with this default cube. Scale it on Z axis and also on the X axis, something like this. Let me just bring it up slightly. Now I am going to install the first add-on. Just go to Preference and Add-on. Type Carver and check this box. This tool will allow you to perform cutting and slicing operation. Save the preference and let's get back to modeling. Here I'm enable screencast add-on just for you to see what key I'm pressing in my keyboard. To activate Carver, press Shift, Control, X. To know more about the Carver add-on, check my free Verse paid add-on comparison video. You can access to that video link in top of this video description. Now I'm going to use Engon to cut this cube. Just slicing some of the corner of the cube to bring more visually appealing look. To confirm the cutters press escape key or just right click to close the add-on menu. I feel something imperfect in my model. So let me manual adjust the cutters. Once you're satisfied with your shape, don't delete the cutters. Instead, just move them all into a different collection. So, in future, if you need any adjustment, you can access to them. You don't have to cry. To hide cutter from our scene, toggle of the collection. Great, we are going to move step further. Pressing tab key, you go to the editing mode. Here you have three different selection methods. Vertex selection, edge selection, face selection. In vertex selection, you can see small dots in your mesh. These points are also called as polygon. You can select one or multiple vertex and move, scale, and rotate. Next, we have edge selection. In this, you can select corner lines in your object. And finally, we have face mode. It will select the faces in you mesh. You don't have to obsess with these mode, just understand how it works. Now, I'm gonna select bottom edge and bring it up not too much. Then select the top two faces and also the bottom one. Press X and delete. Here I'm going to introduce a new modifier called Solidify. What is this? A Solidify modifier is used to add depth thickness to our model. By increase the value, it becomes a massive wider. So let me just increase the value and add some thickness to our cube. Make sure to toggle on even thickness. This will solve unbalanced depth, but in our case, it seems like it's still uneven. Let me try to apply scale by pressing Control A. Yeah, this method works, but how it's fixed our problem? Here I have two cube, scale them on X axis. I'm going to apply scale for only one mesh. Now I add a solidify modifiers, the one applied scale, have even thickness compared to the other mesh. How does it work? Now go to the side panel by pressing on one and see the scale value between this cube and this cube. You can notice the scale applied mesh have reset the value to one. This will allow solidify modifier to calculate how much thickness need to add. Not only this, in bevel, insertion in a lot of operations. You need to be very careful before you perform any operations. Make sure to reset the value, whether it's for scale, rotating, or location. Well, you also need to learn about bevel. What is it? Bevel is used to smooth the sharp edges and curve the flat surface. You can done this by adding bevel modifiers, but it will add bevel to the entire mesh if you want to smooth one specific edge. Then go to edit mode. Select any edge and press control bomb to bevel. Just moving your mouse to adjust the size. By scrolling mouse wheel, you will add more segments. The more segments you add, the more edge looks smooth. Here, in our model, it's look sharp, right? Let's smooth the sharp edges by pressing control B and I'm going to bevel the flat edges. Just do the same operation to the rest of the sharp edges. Now it's look more better than before, isn't it? Let me apply shade smooth. Oops, we got some shading problem, but I don't know this issue is causing by the modifiers. If I apply the solidify modifiers, the shading problem gone. I don't, what's wrong with it? Whatever, now we go back to edit mode. We finish smoothing out one side, we need to do again to the other side? Definitely not. Just select all by pressing A. Go to mesh and select symmetrize. 
I just put this into Quick Favorite by right click and added. Now pressing Q and select Symmetrize. Choose your specific axis you successfully mirrored to the other side. Now inside our model is empty, right? I would like to add a cube and scaling it to fix to the cube size. It's perfect, I guess. To look more good, go to Edit tab and select all four side edges. But it's difficult to select the all edges. By pressing Forward key, you can hide everything except the selected mesh. Now select all four edges and bevel then. Also at the top, by holding Alt key, and left click on the edge to select all the edges. And just perform one segment bevel at top to create a visually appealing effect. I think uh, we can rotate the cube to fill the gap. Let me rotate more till it's completely fits. Now by selecting the axis and press G, G, you can move it based on the rotation. Here we are, start making a wheel for the leg by adding the cylinder, brings it on top and go to the sides view by pressing three and numpad. Rotating it by the cylinder is facing us Ang G, move it somewhere here and reduce the overall size. And now make it thinner by scaling down on Y's axis. Before doing any operations, just remember to apply scale and go to editing mode. Select the two faces of the cylinder and run a bevel by pressing Control B. Next, add a loop cut at the center and also bevel the loop cut. Now by selecting the middle face, press Alt E to extrude along normal. What is loop cut and extrude? Well, loop cut is a tool. By pressing Control R, it splits a loop of faces by inserting new edge loop intersecting the chosen edge. By increase the count, you can add more cuts in your model. What is extrude? Extrude is kind similar to scale operation. By selecting any face or line and press E, it will perform like a scale, but in extrude, it will add individual cut to each operation. Another extrude is extrude along normal. This will extrude according to the direction of each face. There are quite few more extrusion are available, but these two are most commonly used in this tutorial. Maybe you can go a try everything you want. I hope you are clear with loop cut and extrude. So now add extrude in the middle face and just shrink it. By selecting the face press S and scale it down on Huawei axis, it will create defined edge effect. Here another important tool you need to learn, insertion. By selecting two different faces and press I key, it will allow to insert the faces. I think I don't want to give a deep explanation about this tool. We are just doing these three operation couple of times to achieve sci-fi look. Ah, here's a task for you. I want you to attach the cylinder and the cube using extrude or any tool you want and duplicate it and bring the models as you see in the screen. Complete the task I see in my next part.